Hello? Hey, what's up, buddy? Hello? Hello? Hi, buddy. Uh, I'm, can you not hear me? I can hear you just fine. You're coming in loud and clear. Okay, sorry about that. Um, if you hear typing, it's actually my husband, and I'm asking him to go in the uh, other room. No, it's fine. It's not that distracting. It's okay. All right. Um, I just wanted to make sure that this is clear that I'm not coming to you with any hostility. But <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> Dude, you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry and, about it. And this is a discussion. And granted, I'm not the most articulate, and I apologize to those who can word it and have more knowledge on the subject. And I'm going to respect you as a person in this debate, and I would hope you did the same. And I'm trying to um, not to interrupt you as much as possible, vice versa. Is that okay with you? Oh, yeah, I'll try my hardest. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use that picture that I always use when you're, like, if We're you're going to come... Hey, Dan, do you think I'd, like, scream at everybody that I bring on here? Whoa. No, I do not. I, no, I, I know for a fact you don't, but right. it's it's not... It's, it was, it was like, when you had the unnatural vegan response, and I saw you, like, very upset and didn't seem like she was accusing you of anything, but she was making the point due to the fact that if your alignments with your morals or your thought process, that would make it and i don't want to seem that i'm accusing you of oh yeah no no it's fine when i'm responding to like videos on youtube or whatever i'm i get pretty rambunctious on screen but i, I don't worry i don't like shout at people when i'm actually talking to them it's okay all right, all right. um it seemed like you were pretty uh emotional or not emotional but like uh, wanting to talk about the topic when you tweeted at uh, i'm not going to mention the twitter because i don't want them harassed uh, that you explained that and when we started the tweet she was just simply explaining that that the presence of female or women, I'm just going to use fem uh, women, for instance, because, you know, trans identity and all that, that they have been always, uh, not a majority, I agree with you, but it, not exactly a rarity or a minority, because you stated less than 5% that wasn't, and then you changed Oof. it to, to 20%, and I understand Wait, did that I really say 20%? No yeah, way. Yeah, you you did when I asked you about it. Remember when you were talking about, like, I you said 5%, and then you changed it to... 20%? Oof. Am I'll, I wrong with that? Maybe. I'll try to find it, but I, I feel I, like I would stand more by the 5 than the 20, but I'll, the but I'll take your word for it for now. If um, um, We can look it up. I don't want to misrepresent you in any way, but let's just go with the 5 according... You're saying that 5% of ga in the gaming community, that 5% were women, right? Or constant gamers, right? Yes, yeah, so probably I, something I, like that would be like a guess, yeah. I, I understand the reasoning because, like, is this based on uh, actual statistics, facts, or anecdotal? And what are we defining as gaming in this situation? Because we can oh. argue that... Re real quick. Oh, I, I see. When, when I was responding to somebody, I said it might be up to, like, 20% now. Is, mm -hmm. is was my response to you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Yes, understandable. Which is what you're saying now. But when we're looking at statistics, like mm -hmm. from the industrial gaming, from like let's say Pew researchers, as well as the uh, interactable digital software, which is different now from the ESA, which is entertainment, we can look at the percentage and from ninth. And you you said when I did disagree with you, and I said since like 35 years ago, when when we had a Pong, we had Pac-Man, and all these other games, it was statistically shown that it was a close to 50 to 50, Donkey Kong, these weren't like small like games like, you know, Feed the Baby or anything, like uh, like these like E.T. games, they were like big titles like Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Atari games, like Tempest, right? And you said, with your justification, you said during the 90s when we grew up. And even with that statistic, it says American computer user and video games, and I could give you the chart, but we can also agree that statistics, like according to some of the people, say methodology matters, but it's usually the methodology of these statistics is to see if you can have marketing campaigns or any of these uh, other items, right? Yeah. And and we can look at these ones. And would you, I don't, I understand you don't prefer looking at all these graphs and stuff because it's just like, uh, you're gonna have to pull like it's like depending on who's sending it and depending on who's giving it to you You can abuse you because a lot of people who want to like use like race realism have their own graphs and statistics <laughs> No, I, but, I don't think it's anything like that um, Before before we dive too hard into this So I think I think there's like a really careful distinction that needs to be made and mm -hmm. I, it might sound nitpicky But I don't um, I'm not familiar like how familiar you are with, with like the gaming community and whatnot. So one of the big problems that I kind of have, I say problem, but like one of the issues that I think pops up when a lot of people bring up these polls or talk about these polls is that when these polls are testing for like how many people play games, I think that there are two very different definitions, like definitions at work here when we're talking about what is quote unquote a gamer, right? So like growing mm -hmm. up, if you were somebody that um, 
like um, I know a lot of guys growing up, for instance, that were into into athletics that did football, uh, basketball, whatnot. And every now and then they might play like Madden or they might play like NBA, whatever, whatever was on like the Super Nintendo or in the sixty four. Um, but these guys would never really consider themselves gamers. But they might they might even play like thirty minutes a day or maybe an hour a day, maybe depending on what's going on. But these guys were, were never people that would ever like be considered gamers. They weren't part of like gamer culture or part of that kind of fandom or anything or played anything beyond like a, like a sports game. You know, not that there's anything wrong with that or that they're lesser. But we're not when we talk about like gamers, we're not really talking about this group of people, right? Much the same that like I notice when when some of the polling comes up and it'll say things like, oh, well, actually, you know, female representation um, versus male representation in this market is like 52 percent it's actually more women playing than men it's like okay but is this including things like mobile games or is this including like a casual like you know every Uh, now and then i play angry birds like i think that these are kind of different kinds of conversations you know or different kinds of communities i I do appreciate that because that's what i was going to argue about Mm -hmm. so right now you're design finding like i I, i've defined gaming in the sense of like mobile games and all these other things and even with that considered when we look at the percentage wise of of women gaming in 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 this instance that we're not going to talk about uh let's say um a candy crush we're not going to talk about game, mobile games like angry birds or any of these things i'm going to talk about like things like mass effect i'm going to talk about like nintendo games if you if you let's say if you play pokemon games and you've bought in all the versions gold red silver uh sun and moon and all these other things you play every single zelda game when you play play like mario games of different like let's say yarn uh yoshi woolly world etc and we're talking about like i don't know do you play like blacklight or like team fortress and we consider that as what you're defining as gaming right because yeah somebody that spends a a decent chunk of time on it and considers themselves like active members or or partially members of these communities yeah so i'm glad we even with that considered and we look at the pew research polls that even with your consideration of what defines gaming, high fantasy MMOs still have 36% in women, JRPGs 33%, and if we're not even considering like Final, and I'm pretty sure that you agree that Final Fantasy, like it doesn't matter 10, 7, 13, etc. Even though 13 sucked, but like it, it, it doesn't matter because it's still above 5%. And we talk about Western RPG. There is a huge, massive fan base of women in like Dragon Age, and there's also um, Mass Effect. Like, there's huge amounts of them, and they're still above five percent. Sure. So, to- j- just to be be clear, like I-, I acknowledge that today the representation is probably a lot better. Maybe twenty was was a bad guess. It, m- it might be closer to thirty or forty. Although I have a hard time believing that anecdotally. Uh, although that, that that may very well be the case, and I know that there are a lot of women that play online that don't talk or reveal that they're women for reasons like that. So my my personal anecdote could be off because of selection bias um but mainly what so my main problem when having this type of um conversation or the main thing that i focus on is um when when we're talking about like in the period of like people growing up in the 90s was the representation back then um and the reason why I, I'm bringing this up just to give some context is because um, I, I notice that this thing happens a lot where – so I, I don't know how much of my content you follow in, in terms of what you, what you follow of mine. I'm very big on, on representation in gaming. I think that more women um, w- would be way better or minority or anybody. I fucking stream. So the more people that watch, the better it is going to be ultimately for me at the end of the day anyway. So and- – so, so when it comes to these percent, oh, I'm sorry, mm-hmm. but when it comes to these, per- I do watch a lot of your streams. I responded to you when you put up, like, especially when you took down certain videos because of r- r- like rights and stuff. And I understand when you talk about social environments and stuff mm-hmm. and anecdotes, and you don't want to rely on anecdotes. Yeah. Where are you pulling these numbers of five, twenty to thirty percent when I'm giving you from like Digital Interactive Software Association, <clears throat> where it's from 1999, where though it says although male make males make up a majority of video games and computer games. Female games are paying a specific gaming group. Thirty last year, so 1998 for 1999 studies, most frequent played video games were women. Amongst them were even numbers higher of 38 percent of PC playing video games. So these women, even if we're going to talk about five percent being a rarity, and we're looking at the statistics of like 1999, and like we have the Pew Research polls, we have the the digital interactive media polls that's from from 1997, and we're going from not even to now 2000s, let's just say 2005 or 2010 when we're like a decent teenage age, it's still the comparative ratio to that is very similar. So I guess like my the, the interesting thing, I guess, is that as somebody, so I played a few uh, Pokemon trading card game tournaments and I was pretty active in gaming communities online and I would go to... Um, I remember I would go to stores and stuff to play. I did like the trading card games a little bit growing up and in all of these interactions, it seemed like... Um, 
and then in all of my early days of playing online, it seemed like finding women in these environments was, was so very, very, very So this is very, anecdotal very, very, then? Yeah. This th- is anecdotal. Th- th- so this is anecdotal. So I'll, I'll lead it into like a more statistical thing. But, so this is anecdotal. Most of what I'm going to talk about will be anecdotal. But it, but it seems like um, it seems like it was very, very, very difficult to find any women like in any communities aside from like one or two that, that might be like in part of a group. It seemed like it was really, really rare to come across any number of women playing games. And furthermore, it seemed like all of the geek nerd stereotypes that people would laugh at, like n- most of the time, anytime this was displayed in pop culture or pop media, pretty much these would always be limited to men that were playing things. Um, even today in shows like The Big Bang Theory and The IT Crowd and whatnot, like these are shows that typically show men as being interested in these things. And then to take it kind of in, into the more factual territory, right? Um, when you look at, like, um, let's say that we look at professional gaming today, right? If we look across all the professional scenes, um, aside, this gets into other issues, but, like, aside from, from trans women, I don't know if there's a single, maybe there might be two or three professional women competing at professional levels across almost every single esport. Um, I think there might have been a couple in Call of Duty or one, um, I don't think, um, I, and I don't, I'm not trying to exclude trans women to get into a whole other thing, but but it's very very like I, I can't I can't really think of any. There might have been one that played in the LCS at one point um, in league. It seems strange to me that um, that that there are no high level female gamers or women gamers like anywhere. If these stats were always like at at, at parity, that, that just seems really unlikely oh. to me. So let, let's let's go. So I'm going to tackle each of your points individually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Please, go for it. Uh, I, let's not interrupt each other. So I'm going to let you speak and let me speak. But um, first of all, when you're using anecdotals like that, I could give you anecdotals of like that women in my in, when growing up had all of them had consoles, played Final Fantasy, played uh, Kingdom Hearts, played uh, Nintendo games, played uh, Left 4 Dead, and all these areas where there were from ages ranges like depending on where you are, right? And like when you say the Pokemon uh, tournaments and stuff, a lot of girls didn't feel like like younger girls in general that I knew of usually when they collected Pokemon cards and tried to play Pokemon cards and I am one of those girls who wanted to play Yu-Gi-Oh with the boys guess what would happen you would not be included they would say you don't know how you're playing you don't want and they'll try to like make it a skew from you that's anecdotal but I will not use that because that's not gonna work uh secondly when we're talking about geek and nerd culture and like there it it like there has always been female creators and female writers and female uh, people who have been wanting to be in this community. And it's hard to go into, let's say, a video game store or even a comic book store that we will be accused of not knowing the topic. Not And, and like, there's going to be a bunch of guys, like, on your Twitter who said, I never experienced this. And the 99% of women that I've talked to seem to not know anything about video games or movie or et cetera, which is very untrue if you go to a university standpoint and you talk to a lot of women who talk about their experiences going to a comic book store, video games, being harassed online to where they just don't use mics, where they don't want to go to these events, and it's harder. And you also agree that when we talk about, like, you are shaped by the, the, the things surrounding you. If you're surrounded by media that always depicts boys playing video games, always, especially from the 80s when we started gender, fi- like we had very gender specific marketing, especially that, you know, it becomes harder to be like, is this really for me? If I come out saying this thing, will they actually believe me? Which is still an issue today. And, as, and now finally talking about your competitive Apparently, when you're saying uh, top females, ex- uh, female-only tournaments such as like they, it, they exist, it's not like they don't do they don't because it's hard because sexual harassment. Do you remember in 2012 with um, what happened with the the special Street Fighter? Um, I don't, but I know that the fighting game community is pretty raunchy, so I can imagine the worst. And 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 you can imagine like uh, even with uh, like there has been for you know Hearthstone by any chance too. Yeah, what about it? Uh, you know that they had limited registration for male players only, and we also have to talk about Call of Duty fans and Call uh, Call of Duty fans when they were unqualified for first field players because of certain reasons. And not to say that there aren't women who don't want to participate. It's just that maybe it's like an environment that is hard for women to go into. Not to say that they may lack the skill. And I have not, I have never disagreed with you on this point. Do I believe that there are more women playing than men in video games? Probably not probably it's not that case but do i believe that there are such a minority of five percent in the video game community when the video game community only represents probably if we're looking at 
the essential facts from the total consumers represent only 40% of the of population in general. So it wouldn't be surprising that a lot of women in general or even people in general stop playing video games when they're older or not even consider the fact that, you know, they're not an actual frequent gamer because it's been also pulled that women who play video games such as like, you know, Splits, uh, like uh, Pokemon, uh, fucking Crash Bandicoot. Uh, we can, I can go on a list of like even like Duke Nukem or Wolfen uh, Wolfenstein, that they won't even identify them as gamers because of how we shape what defines gaming and gamers. Like if I play like what five hours of video games about three times or four times or even t like six times a week, I might not define myself a gamer because I don't play it professionally or that I don't want to label myself as a gamer because if I just like read comic books all the time doesn't necessarily mean I'm like a canonista of comic books because it depends on what you uh, like. I assume Destiny, you don't you you play enough video games, but I don't think you tackle every single video game, right? Yeah, probably. No, of course not. Yeah. Yeah. So isn't that kind of like a like if you just play um let's say i play uh let's just let's just pull out a game that is like back in the uh let me just pull out some of the statistics for the games that came out in from the 90s cuz you said we're trying to limit to when you were growing up and that's what uh the main poster was trying to address the top 20 video games for 1999 were pokemon blue pokemon red smash brothers mario party uh, symphony filter legend of zelda ocarina of time pinball frogger driver and snap because if we're going to go by the statistics of how many of these games bought, and we're going to say male majority, a lot of these women probably playing these games also play these games as well. Am I incorrect or correct? Um, I, I mean, when you say a lot, are you, are you going back to that like 30, 40, 50% figure or whatever? I'm just talking about like uh, not even 30, 40%. I'm talking about like what, what was given to me in the statistics, which is the male female breaker age uh -huh. ratio, which is about. Uh, the forty-five percent of buying these video games were women, and the fifty-one percent were men. Gotcha. So, or did you want to bring up any? And then, then if we, uh, you can go ahead. Sorry. Okay, so when when I look at all of the problems, we'll kind of go like we'll tackle these one at a time. When I look at but but when I look at like the general trend of your points, when, when so you talked about how um, women had hard times being included if they wanted to play games with boys, that the media was depicting boys playing games all the time, they were marketing towards boys, all of these conditions that that exist seem you know, like they could only exist if it was like a heavily male dominated thing, like um, especially in terms of when you talk about like women being included. Let's say that half the people playing Pokemon were were women and half the people playing were boys. Why would it, why would people be excluding women from from groups if, if so many were playing that just seems so strange to me i'm kind of asking you to speculate a little bit but wouldn't it seem odd if there were so many women so, involved in this particular thing that all of them were being excluded by the other half um uh, can i or am i is would yeah, you go like for to it. continue yeah. or answer it yeah, okay so it. Let, let's make this let's make this very clear though mm -hmm. like when when we say that isn't it kind of weird or set in the speculative this is speculation and therefore anecdotal right yeah. and this is where where a lot of the girls or a lot of the women now that i grew up with that are in their they're in their 20s and their 30s right around my age around your age when i ask them like when we talk about it like it, it was surprising amount of girls that grew, I grew up according to like because when I see these comments posted on your Twitter about how they never seen these people they never really talked to them it's also like how many friends did you have were girls like I'm I'm not gonna like go like all girls are gonna be playing video games that's not what I'm saying and that's not what and not all boys were playing video games or not all boys were reading comics at the time they would branch out and, and even then we have a depiction of nerd culture of even being excluded from like nerd culture right so we have all these women who don't want to maybe interact with people who don't think they're playing the game right or like the game in the right way and you know we tend to play with people who are more accepting of us and usually girls played with other girls or their siblings that were actually quite kind to them when they're playing is that fair to say sure yeah, and it, if it never seems like this arena has been fair, fair for women, it's not fair for a lot of people. Because, like, look, probably if when did you when Pokemon I'm just bringing up Digimon, Digimon had a really lousy, like, not lousy, but my husband likes it. It's a small game, but Pokemon 
in general wasn't really like in my school for the most part accepted for a while it was a lame thing to do it was like this weird japanese thing that came over the thing and you had while well, everyone was getting like everyone's like what's the point like you're a nerd you're wanting to play pokemon why can't you play like dodgeball or like the new bop it or whatever like fuck right and you're excluded like even for men and women right mm -hmm. now imagine like that and apply to even more of a smaller scale where you already have the idea that women can't be participating in these arenas because it's never seen as a girl thing to do and it's a more of a boy thing to do like it starts from a smaller age about like commercial like as you say your social environments like is that is that wrong no i absolutely agree with that um and I'm, you know that's absolutely true but I kind of feel like that speaks more to to my argument because that was another point that I would bring up because it but because they're not they're not not existing is what I'm saying is that we're just not going to those areas of being more visible or being more talkative because it is it is honestly nerve wracking it is honestly not fun it's not safe and then when you get to a university standpoint depending on you're either going to liberal arts or going to uh, like uh, more not even science departments but like more of um, socials and other things you be pretty surprised with the girls that open up to you and tell you about the games that they played and it's hard because it becomes 21 questions when you want to go buy a video game or when you want to talk about it even amongst other women like it's not going to be like like I, I i'm apologizing for not being very articulate because I, i'm stuttering right now no i mean i understand i understand what you're saying um it I it, it would be like when you go to a comic book store or when you go to and this is anecdotal and I am not going to argue that anecdotal is right because you've stated before that you don't like anecdotes because that doesn't represent the majority of these things. But based on the statistics I have, not professional gamers, just gamers, because that's what you were addressing the original Twitter post. Right. No one's had stated professional gaming. No one had stated anything else, but simply gamers. And if you look in her whole Twitter thread about how it is like growing up to hear boys saying like and growing up now to hear men saying i wish we had girls who were into video games and stuff when we've already existed for a long time and you go to a video game store you go to a comic book store they'll ask you the same questions do you, are you really reading this are you buying this for a gift for someone else do you need any help etc yeah so I, I think all of those are, are really shitty things <clears throat> um but i guess um the, the the okay so two two things i guess so the first thing that i would have to ask is um <clears throat> If what you're saying is true, and, and we do have as many women playing games or close to as many women playing games as men, but somehow they're always excluded in every arena, um, even though they make up, you know, 50% representation, why why does it seem like there were never any large female communities of gamers that ever really <laughs> started up? And why is the representation in professional gaming so absolutely abysmal? Or even at the highest ranks in, in most online games, in CSGO, Call of Duty, League of Legends, StarCraft, across every genre, it seems like the representation of women at these leagues is horrible. Why, If they were always playing games as, as much as men, why are they... Why? Why is the representation so poor so across the more visible so areas? So again, we're we're going back to professional gaming, which uh -huh. is not what the what the Twitter originally stated. But I'll address this either way. So I'm I'm pretty sure you're familiar with Overwatch, right? Yeah. So Overwatch, um, in a sense, has a why a, a 16 percent uh, women player database, and that's about around five million female players in general, right? For Blizzard, right? Mm -hmm. Are we okay? So right now there was a women player. I, I'm not. She didn't identify her name, but I can give you the Korean, like the websites for from Polygon, from Kotaku, and etc. And you know, you can roll your eyes at Kotaku. Doesn't mean it didn't happen. I can give you Polygon sources, but this there there was a female player who was in a tournament and was accused of hacking because it was quote unquote for the male players for a mass round that it was impossible for women to play video games that well. So they actually had her monitored while she played a, had a mask over to play Zarya character. And it became that she was being hard, she didn't want to play professionally anymore because of these accusations. And it is to say that it is hard for people who don't have a thick skin, and I don't think you should have a thick skin if you want to play in video games, in my opinion. You should be able to play as much as you can professionally, then challenge and take issue with or challenge with whatever their gender is. Wait, am so, I, am I... yeah, I understand, but so your example is that there was one female professional Overwatch player? 
Why? There's why more is... than one. There's more than one, but the one that made it to the top got harassed. And what does that say to more women who want to go into these video games that we're going to be accused of cheating? We're going to be accused of uh, not playing well. We're, we're like even then in Overwatch, you're accused of being carried. Like if you're like a support or you're playing, you're like well, as a woman. Because a lot of the high-ranking women players tend to be mercy mains, right? No. Okay. So here, here's another uh, example of mm -hmm. uh, of why we have a lot of female mercy main players and i personally when i'm playing uh competitive uh i i do play diva i play symmetra i play zen and i play mccree mm -hmm. but a lot of the times you get better at being mercy is a lot of times men uh, we have dps's predominantly men who are not willing to switch off and it's a frustrating thing where you have five DPS mains and maybe two support roles. And you, you're the one going, I guess I'm going to switch off from this. It's like, it, it, and then he's going to say, and you're going to be like, oh, I can see a bunch of like your Twitch. This is why I kind of didn't want to go on your Twitch because I can see a bunch of people going to say anecdotes. Don't, hey, don't ignore him, ignore him. Don't worry about the fucking chat, dude. <laughs> Trust like, me. Because it's just like, it's. Your anecdotes versus my anecdotes, but it seems like my anecdotes aren't going to be merging up. No, 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 no. I, I'm not. So I'm not trying to go anecdote versus anecdote. So here, here's. So this is kind of what I'm. I'm kind of getting around at is that if I believe everything of what you're saying, if I believe that all of that is true, it seems like I have a lot of ammunition. To, so personally, I don't believe that there is much of a difference in terms of. Um, intellectual, and then by extension of that, gaming capabilities um, between men and women, right? So athletic differences, I think everyone must acknowledge. You've got differences in skeletal structures. You've got differences in muscle mass, um, testosterone versus not having as much, right? So you can argue that there are athletic differences between men and women, which is pretty inarguable. But when it comes to gaming, I would think, I would like to think for the most part that we're more or less on an equivalent playing field, that a woman given the opportunity to play games for a sufficient amount of time can become just as good as a man given sufficient time to play video games but it seems like if i take all of your arguments into account and i accept all of them then the only conclusion that i can possibly be left with is that women are inherently like genetically or biologically worse at video games than men if you're telling me that women have always played as many games as men women have always had around 50 percent um you know parity almost in terms of how many games they've played and how long they've played versus men but when you look at every single ladder that has ever existed for any game ever and when you look at every single pro scene that has ever existed for any game ever, there are just no women there and no other alternative scenes developed around it. You know, like, for instance, like China is a scene that's walled off from the rest of the, the, rest of the world, but they still have their own pro scene. They still have their massive communities. They still, but none of this has ever existed for women. It seems like I would have to buy, and you can tell me if, if this is going, if this is an incorrect conclusion or if you reject this, and I'd be curious why. Like, how can you say that women can ever compete with men if they've always been there and they've just never made it anywhere on any ladders or any professional scene ever. I use professional gaming also. I know that we weren't talking about it originally. I'm just using professional gaming because it's highly visible, because the tops of ladders are highly visible, and because that's where statistically you can see a massive disparity in the representation of men and women. All right, sorry, go ahead. Okay, so uh, first I'll address um, when we started this. It wasn't about like when mm -hmm. you were when she made the post. It was not about professional gaming. That simply women have not never like never been there as like you know you're saying that we're a very minute and very minor percentage of the video game community, mm -hmm. which is again that's what I'm trying to tackle. So sure. are you admitting that with the statistics in mind, there are actually a lot of women who play video games, even if it's not under five percent. Um, I, I mean, possibly. So, I, so when I look at ladders on games and I look at pro gaming, I'm using that as my as kind of the I, evidence I'm, that I, I draw I'm from. Not, and I'm saying not addressing that, pro gaming right yeah. now. I'm, well, saying, I, I'm, I'm just, that later. I'm just I'm just looking at that as my evidence that I don't think that there are as many because, for instance, like when you look at guys that play League of Legends or guys that play Counter Strike or whatever, the the reason why these people are drafted into these pro games is because they probably grew up playing games. These aren't people that were you know they were football you know first string and then they decided to pick up Counter Strike. These are people that were always playing games, right? So when I look at like pro scenes and ladders i'm using that as kind of my evidence where i'm saying that, like it doesn't look like many women were involved playing games in the 90s because none of them exist in any of these pro scenes so i'm not trying to i'm trying to use like a, like ladders and pro scenes as kind of like my statistical evidence that it doesn't seem like there are many women that play games very much um i'm not if that makes sense yes but okay, uh, yeah, the, the, i understand that for a pro scene but mm -hmm. we're also addressing that video would you agree that video games in in general like the pr professional and the the scene for professional gaming has been relatively new compared to the like the vast majority of sports. 
Um, but, oh, compared to sports? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So how long do you think it took women for in like in order to, I don't know, uh, get their own professional scene in like their women's tennis, women's football, women's soccer, women's hockey, et cetera? Um, probably quite a while, but we lived in a much different time period uh, um, when those things were becoming popular as well, right? I would say that we're a lot more progressive today in how and, we approach and, gender differences. That is true, but we also realize that if we like we already have in this day and age a major backlash of just including women and diversity in like just representation you don't think that there would be a backlash if we had like i don't know let's say uh, a safer area of women's only uh, gaming tournaments or women's only other things compared to 50 to 100 years ago i think the backlash is almost non-existent now does it exist today yeah for sure but but what we do today in terms of gender segregation or not segregation integration i, I would say is almost completely unheard of compared to 50 years ago now, now again there is still backlash today i mean you bring up having female only tournaments there was backlash for a female only showing of fucking wonder woman <laughs> so i mean yeah of course there's still backlash today but the integration today i think is much 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 better than it ever has been in the past Okay, so with that in mind, I think like within more women uh, talking about video games, more women coming out with their experiences as whether they're growing up, I think it, in the future that it will be possible to have a higher because we already like with the Pew Reacher study post that there is an incre increasing number of women in certain types of video games identifying as video, uh, uh, gamers and as well as an increase of video uh, like women playing in like what we consider quote unquote games, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the issue isn't what I'm having with you is professional video games because I'm agreeing with you because it's, it's, it's predominantly a male, uh, male scene. It's predominantly more like for men, but it's mm -hmm. not to say that social environment doesn't play into a structure of that would be kind of like disingenuous to say that it hasn't been exactly like advertised for women. It hasn't been like not even advertised for women because then you're going to have a bunch of people saying, well, why does it need to be advertised for women? No, 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 no. I'll agree with you on that. I'm trusting you. I'm not an idiot. I, I swear to God, it absolutely has been advertised for men. Um, we, I, there's an article that I go over sometimes from NPR that shows that like that advertising began like in the 70s and 80s. And that's why you saw women drop off in interest in exactly. computer science versus every other yeah so yeah i totally agree with you um but but again I, those are things that i tend to use as part of my argument like these are reasons why women um you know haven't played as many games as guys is because they were so heavily discouraged from it in the beginning due to different advertising campaigns and whatnot but but destiny but i'm not arguing that there are more men in video games than women i'm mm -hmm. arguing that you're saying that it's been less than five percent of in general about women playing video games when i have like we talk about MRPGs, we have first person shooters, we have um, um, JRPGs and all these other things that it's specific. Sorry, I can't say specific really no, well. Okay, for that, it's always been above 20 or around 20%. Or even look, we talk about like first person shooters for like, like, you know, Call of Duty Battlefield, it's 7%. When it comes to, like, action adventure, it comes to 18%. We're getting to roguelike adventures, 25%. RPGs uh, depend on Western or Japanese, around the 30%. We're talking about high fantasy MMOs, 36%. We're talking about atmospheric exp uh, exploration, like Journey, Flow, um, uh, no, no, Man, uh, no Man's Sky, etc. That's up to 41% in percentage-wise. So do you assume all these women haven't been playing games up till now because it's been a friendlier environment or they've just been keeping quiet? So I, I guess maybe to, I guess if I wanted to, to rephrase my thing, and maybe you would agree with this. So could, could you say that I guess maybe women have always been playing games a lot more, but somehow they managed to remain incredibly invisible from like most men for a long time doing it or I, like I, the problem I guess I have growing up and and it sounds so weak and stupid I guess because because I kind of go back to the anecdotal but like I, I can't think of any and this so this is kind of like the, the crux of my or not the crux this is kind of the root of why I argue things like this right so I've always argued in favor of more representation of women or minorities in gaming um, because I think overall I think it would be positive for literally every single person involved um, but the problem that I run into sometimes is it, it feels it starts to feel um, 
and I'm not trying to use this too antagonistically, it almost feels a little bit revisionist in history when um, when I have people saying things like, oh, um, you know, by the way, you know, 50% or 40% or 30% of gamers have always been women. And it's like, well, growing up, I've never in my life met a guy that would ever, ever say that across any of the tournaments I've been to, um, both competing in or just joining across any gamers that I've ever talked to. I've never, ever, 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 ever from a single person ever heard that in my life. Oh, yeah, when we grew up, you know, my gaming group had tons of girls in it. Like, it was never the case. And if you were a gaming person who was a guy, you were never finding these groups of girls playing games. Like, that was like, like finding even one that played games was considered, like, incredibly rare. And that, this seems to be like a, like a, uh, like a, an experience that is, like, inexorable from, from being a gamer. Like, I... Unless, unless, so unless they're like community, I'm trying to like think of like communities. Like, I, I guess again, I guess it sounds anecdotal, but like this seems to be such an insanely common experience. Are there are there these massive groups of women that were playing games with guys that just nobody in any pop culture and any media ever talked <laughs> so, about, like ever? Or? Do you do you know Co by any chance the board on um, 4chan? Um, no. What board, is like 4chan, what is what is it for? Co is usually for cartoons and animation, okay. and a lot of the people your an your anonymity doesn't really like suggest to you what gender you are, and usually you and you get the typical like bitch shut up or whatever. Sure, yeah, so in a fortune culture. Yeah. yeah, yes. So when we talk about this and we talk about how it is, and that you're like, were there just secret groups of women like playing video games and talking about cartoons and stuff? I'm like, kind of yeah, in a sense, because when you, I grew up. Uh, this is this is anecdotal, so I don't want to verse anecdotal and anecdotal. Uh -huh. But if I go to high school, I go to university, and I go to I'm not talking about all women. I'm talking about the women in these in these groups, like game girls. They they begun they they literally have they talk about cartoons, they talk about video games, they talk about all these things within each other because they know there's not going to be this preassumption judgment of whether or not I can read uh, like read comic books or play these video games. And if I grew up with a lot of girls around my age, if I grew up in high school, university, and we have like what a tw like especially like a twenty to 20, 20 women in the class and there's like 30 like 30 people and 10 are guys and all of them start talking about like maybe let's talk about the new issue of Civil War that's coming out with or Spectacular Spider-Man or we're talking about like the new E3 coverage I think it's amongst us because we know we're not going to happen and it kind of sucks because there's a bunch of dudes that we did get along with and we had fun with them and they were very accepting of us. And maybe it's because you grew up with maybe girls who didn't share those interests, which is totally valid. Well, I mean, even like my, my, uh, fuck, dude, I feel like every person I ever fucking argue against digging into the fucking anecdotes here. My, um, so part of, I, the first girl I had a serious relationship with, I, my ex-wife, I think I was with her for like four or five years. She was like very much into anime and a little bit into games, so not as much, but like very, very much into anime. Um, like watched every single fucking Miyazaki film and anybody that worked in any of all that shit. Um, and even she, I don't think she had any female friends she went to an all-girls high school there were three all-girls high schools in our areas so could you, and, you, and so i don't think she had you, any female friends that were into this stuff sorry go ahead but but isn't that like depending on like okay so this is like women like okay so we already agree that like quote-unquote nerds even though it's like what defines a nerd is very different these days and compared to what it was back then right mm -hmm. but we still have this idea of exclusion if you are already excluded from the general population for being a nerd. Imagine like if you're already a nerd in an all girls school, mm -hmm. it would be hard to find other nerd girls school if you don't share those interests out loud or don't want to get picked on because we know what it's like to get picked on for having like things that you might not be considered cool, quote unquote, right? Like Lord yeah, and of the Rings. I agree quote, with everything you're saying, but this just seems like it supports my argument that this is why less women would be but, into it. No, it no, it, it 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 would be male and women because let's talk about like how people like, can you admit that before the Marvel movie scene that people would just generally like superheroes but not go into comic books and movies? And you would get teased about making watching comic books and movies? Oh, before the, like, yeah, probably. The big before the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. And we can agree that if you liked Game of Thrones, like Song of Ice and Fire before the movie, uh, TV, you'd be f made fun of for being like this person reading these like quote unquote nerdy books or these like bad sci-fi books. I'm uncomfortable saying that because I'm, I'm not sure when those were released, but but maybe if it was long enough it, ago. It's been, it's been a while. It's been okay. a very long I know that while. people get mad at him because he takes a long time to write books, so maybe, but That's yeah. That's not his fault. He's like old. He's 65. He's not dying. He's going to fucking he... die before the next book. Do you want me to spoil? how big that do you, dude is? Do you, want, do you want me to spoil what's going to happen or no? Because Does Stannis come like... back? No, of course not. You, Jon Snow's probably, uh, Jon Snow's already been like, oh, maybe I shouldn't spoil for anybody because, Wait, spoil. Know. Well, I want to hear it. Yeah. Wait, okay, what? Okay, Jon 
Jon Snow is 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 Ned Stark, well, and it's not Ned Stark's bastard. He's actually the son, the son of uh, fucking Rhaegar Targaryen. And uh, wait, didn't like, we already? Stuff. Wasn't this already in the show? Yeah, it is in the show, but for people who don't know, and it's going to be oh. the pot of dragon three heads and blah 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 blah. Oh, like no, okay, we're okay. Gonna, yeah, but anything else is, <laughs> and it's just like we're going to discuss about like it wasn't cool so it wasn't cool for men like a lot of like if you're a guy and like into this stuff you would agree that a majority of the population didn't find you cool and maybe pick on you for these reasons right yeah but so but like if, but again like even despite this happening you're telling me that women reacted would, by being invisible then, and men reacted by being highly visible well no because like what do we see when we see women who reveal themselves to be video gamers or playing video games or even want to critiquing video games? We see a major backlash. We see, and it's not like these female software developers and writers didn't exist. They just didn't, weren't being highlighted. Let's let's be honest. Like when we talk about like the start, when you said the beginning of video games in your in one of your tweets, uh, you said uh, you said amongst the the beginning of video games have been predominantly male, but like Pong, Donkey Kong. Yeah, I think, Pac- I, think I think I think I walk that back. I guess what I'm mainly talking about, I think that the 90s was kind of like the golden era of so that's women when we pushed had... out of gaming and, and men pushed very heavily towards gaming via advertising and marketing is what it seemed to me. So, But then that kind of sounds like anecdotals about like how come like all these women are popping up in video games or how like uh, what there's just more gay people now there were ten, like 10 years ago. It's like, no, it's just that it's safer to come out it's safer to talk about these things right and maybe this is why like there's such a bit of a trigger because like for like a lot of dudes is like well i didn't see these women when i was playing how come i never like was on the like one of according to one of your twitters like i have met every woman when i dated online 99 percent of them were like co- like hate video games but they are confused when i bring up video games and comics and you're like maybe it's because we didn't want to be playing 21 questions on our first date. We don't want to reveal a lot of things. And maybe if you put on your interest about what kind of thing you're in, you're going to get more girls to tackle like, hey, you like comic books? We got comic books too. Because that's how, honestly, you meet people like, like, like I'm sorry to say this, but if you're going to go on the online dating scene, like Twitter, or like not Twitter, <laughs> Tinder, okay cupid or oh, plenty of fish on these things you're gonna get a bunch of dudes who mm, like not into like a lot of the like, this is anecdotal this is what i hate but this is what i'm getting referred to in your 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 twitter mm-hmm. that the women that i've dated were not into comics books and i'm sorry to say this but the men that i dated were not into video games all they played was call of duty they played uh they played battlefield and they played like half of batman arkham asylum because it was too difficult and then I have to bring out like what I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bring out Fucking my dick. roast him for it, dude. Why wouldn't you roast him for it? Because it, they don't like it. Because you know what happens a lot of the time. Because guys either... don't like to date smart women or women that are better than them at anything. I think. Because but... then it's like, what what do you want me to say? Like, oh look, I cra- like I played all the Batman games. I'm happy to d- tell you what why they switched to Tara Strong instead of uh, Arkham Sorlin. Why do we talk? And like guys who want to be like on the first date, like, did you know like Harley Quinn? Is there like a, like a character that's been since like the 70s, and you're like, not really. They were created in the Batman Taz, and originally got popular because of Bruce Tim and Paul Dini. Because I talked to them, and you know, we we part of the animation community is you talk to these people, and they're just gonna be like, did you know like. The Dark Knight's the best Batman movie, and it's really deep. Did so, you watch Inception? I, so I I understand what you're getting at. I understand what you're getting at, but like, so let me let me throw let me throw another anecdotal curveball back at you. <laughs> thank so you, thank I you think, for the anecdotes. <laughs> I think the, the the problem when you the the problem. So let me let me explain this as a guy that's very much into games and has met women that do this. The problem you get into is when when you meet somebody, you typically want to share interests with them, especially on a, on a first date or something, right? Because common ground is really cool to build off of, right? But one mm-hmm. thing that gets really annoying and Every guy has had this experience now, not to justify hating women and gaming or whatever. I know a lot of people take my words and do that because of whatever reasons. But but like it's very it was very common as a guy to find like a girl when you're when you're growing up. Like you you're you're on a date with a girl, you're like, Oh, you know, like yeah, I like playing games. She's like, Oh, really? I love games. And then you're like, Oh shit, really? I'm really into games too. And it's like, Well, that's awesome. Like, what did you play? And then she'll say, like, Well, my brother had um Pokemon Red, I think, when we grew up, and I got to play um one time and I took his um Charizard Mander and we um and I killed a dude. Or whatever it was a lot of fun i love games and it's like oh 
So, so then this is a different topic of whether or not you are in the same sphere of bubble because video games have been like, is, is a branch out, right? Like, imagine, okay, I'm not going to go on a date with you, but let's pretend we're going on a date with Destiny. Yay! Okay. <laughs> but, okay. You can now, call me Steven if we're on a date, okay? But go ahead. Uh, I think most people prefer if they, like, not to say this, but, like, as a person who's been stalked on a first first date we usually use and like our online screen names because it feels more comfortable on but, okay <laughs> oof. all right no my bad i don't want to stalk you okay then but you call I me like destiny assume, then all right okay let's say let's say me and steven have grown up together so i can use your name i feel uncomfortable using your name steven because we're not that close but i say we are close and like um we're, we go on the first date hi steven welcome to coffee and i say hey i like comic books do you like comic books uh <laughs> Am I, what am I supposed to say? No, I don't. Well, like, do okay, so fine, we'll do video games. I love video because <laughs> this is the, this is the only way I can do this. Okay. <laughs> video games or anime? I like video games or anime. Okay. Yeah, I love okay, video let's games. Talk, okay. Like, uh, let's talk about anime. Okay. I feel like I. Okay. What's your favorite anime? Um, like, I love anime too. Okay, so if I was sincerely having this conversation, I would admit that I was casual as fuck, and that my top three animes are probably Bebop, Steins Gate, and Death Note. And that if it hasn't so had, then, like, a, an official sub, I probably haven't heard of it because I'm casual as fuck, right? That's okay. what I would say. So then imagine I say, wow, you like those? Oh, I'm not a big fan of those ones. But you know what I love? I love Neon Gavin, Gurren Lagann. I love a lot of the Gainax stuff. Do you love Satoshi Kon? I love Akira. These are two different spectrums of anime, right? Mm -hmm. Where are we going to, Where are we like, maybe the girl who's going to be loving Pokemon games, and I hope that maybe you, like, just because they don't like the video game that you like, that you still try to, like, introduce them or maybe just, like accept the fact that maybe they like different video games from you is that hey uh maybe you're still an anime fan but you're not into like you're not into certain types you're not yeah, into so like just to just to just to, 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 to do this so what you just said there would be totally fine like if, if, if so if you say i like anime i'm trying to pass like moral judgments on, on like people's statements when they're trying to date each other right but like if you say something like oh like i like anime or whatever i'm like oh cool i like it too and i found out that we have totally divergent tastes like that's totally cool now if you say something like, if, if i'm like um i really like anime and you're like, said, oh i, I love said... anime too i like um freakazoid was my favorite show growing up and like that's it it's like oh okay so okay so freakazoid uh, i'm not gonna correct you is like the steven spielberg thing that was made like during the 90s but like, wait yeah wait I, what I do you mean correct me doing... well i'm just saying like it's not an anime freakazoid. well no no that's that's the point that's the point that's what i'm getting at right where it's like okay so yeah, not really it's you. not ju that we but just have different that, tastes that's... it's like this isn't you're not really into this kind of stuff at all or you're like my favorite anime is teen titans or whatever it's like uh, okay so... Like, so I would like to think that when you're going dates with people that you can like either expand or even cr like be okay with like, hey, if you do actually like anime, you spread out. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It's not the end of the world, right? Like mm -hmm. there are plenty of guys who didn't understand that there were more than five Robins in Batman. It didn't mean I'm going to go, I'm going to fucking cancel on this date. All men don't know fucking Batman. What the fuck is up with this fucking plebeian who doesn't know fucking Jason Todd got beaten the shit. Super uh, fucking Superboy punched the fucking timeline and brought back to life. Or or like, oh, they think that Under the Red Hood movie is the real justification of bringing back Jason Todd. Because that would be kind of ridiculous, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be ridiculous of me to assume that all men didn't know about Batman? I, well, I mean, if they day? don't, I mean, I would roast them on it, damn. <laughs> I mean, but, I, I mean, if they really claim to. But... I mean, like, and, and all right, like, it's just like, this has become like a kind of like roast of i'm gonna be more knowledgeable of you on this subject therefore that must mean that all this person knows or all these person people or their gender or their identification has to know these things right and that becomes a bit of an exclusion card that becomes about why uh, it's important for me, the woman the girl or the guy that i'm dating has to be 100 percent in the spectrum of whatever i like right like i can admit my husband well, likes anime but he's a fucking plebe when it comes to anime but i roast him for it and then maybe he won't like the anime that i watch he might like like when he was like bringing up like he's never seen a lot of miyazaki films and he was just like, that's the best anime ever. And I'm like, well, there's Satoshi Kon. There's fucking, it, like, even Ghibli films have their own directors. And we have to explain to you this thing. And it doesn't mean I'm going to leave that person or, like, associate that maybe because he's this this ethnicity, this gen, this culture, that they have a lack of understanding of it. It just simply means the person I am seeing right now is probably not in that niche of whatever I like. 
Yeah, no, I, I don't disagree with those. I think we're talking past each other a little bit. So, like, let, let me let me try to explain. Maybe you can um, <clears throat> maybe you can understand. I guess like the, the frustration. Okay, even if you don't think it's justified, I, I can try to explain the frustration. So, um, do you, so you know what I look like, right? Do you think I'm do you think I'm pretty white? I'm, I'm a pretty white person, right? Do you think I had like a white experience growing up? That's a, probably a fair statement to say, right? Um. Yes. Well, it remember, is. well, remember when we talked about like you you bring up the issue of like. Uh, people can feel depending on their environment and subjugation mm -hmm. for all you know like yes you look physically white but you might have gone through certain struggles of poverty yeah no no sure right? I, i'm just saying that in terms of like i'm i'm a very much a white person any treatment that i got in my life now, i'm not saying that i had an easy life or everything was fine or whatever but i'm, I'm very much a white person right now why do you gotta bring race right? this because i'm trying to so I'm I'm half Cuban, okay. My my mother is 100% Cuban, born and raised in the, in, the, in the lands of Cuba. Came over when she was four or five years old. Um, if I started to go to speak in places where I w w let's say there's a rally for um, disenfranchised uh, Hispanics of America or whatever, okay, and I get up on the podium and I start to share my experiences as, as a Hispanic, people are gonna look at me and they're like, "Well, wait, what the fuck, dude?" And like. You, you were never a part of this? What do you mean? Like, come on, dude. Like, you're totally fucking white. You have no, no idea, like, what any of this feels like to us. Like, why are you pretending that, that you're part of this, right? So, like, I, I think that rightfully, or at least understandably, maybe not rightfully, but understandably, I think that there would be a, a lot of Hispanic people that would look at me and they would go, this isn't your place to say this. This isn't, like, this isn't really right. You didn't have these experiences. It's, it's not right for you to be on, on this podium, like, acting like you're part of this community in this way. Not to say that they wouldn't want to include me into something later down the line, but, but just not insofar as how this goes right i think the problem is when when, when you look at how um the kind of the gaming community and the nerd communities and whatnot have gone the problem is it seems like at, at, at one point in time growing up so in the 90s being a nerd was 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 never anything to be celebrated you were typically always made fun of you were always the butt of jokes all the geek and nerd culture typically pointed fun of and made fun of you you were the thick frame glasses you know always made fun of right you kind of you kind of went through that experience growing up as a nerd and then it seems like over the past I don't know, maybe five or ten years, um, it seems like nerd culture, to some extent, has become somewhat mainstream, right? Things like Lord of the Rings, all of the comic book movies. Now, if you know everything about, like, the fucking Batman history, you're, like, the coolest dude to go fucking watch the Justice League with or whatever, because now these things are incredibly popular. They're very mainstream. Very attractive actors are getting into it. So it seems like if you're part of this community now and you see this kind of resurgence of culture and, and it's become incredibly popular and mainstream— and now you have a bunch of people that are kind of coming up like, oh, yeah, like we were all definitely part of this, too, all the time. Th I think that's where, like, the feelings of resentment come in from where it's like, well, hold on. Right. Like, I grab like I'm just and I'm not trying to tell you that it's necessarily right or wrong. I'm just saying, like, this is where kind of like these feelings of resentment. come in. it's like, well, hold on. Like you, you kind of people like made fun of me all throughout growing up for being into this but stuff. Th and th now th that we're th older, did I make fun of you or the women who weren't into <laughs> video games or the men who weren't into video games. Right. So there are plenty of women and men who made fun of me mm -hmm. about being a nerd and stuff but then it's also that in the nerd community you're making fun of me and you're on kind of the side of the people who bullied me but you're just assuming that i'm part of the other side could we consider that for instance yeah but like you but the way that you sell the story I'm not gonna, like i i bet you like but I bet you, like, 10-year-old, 10-year-old uh, me didn't both, I wouldn't go, like, fucking, like, look at this fucking shit nerd over there reading Lord of the Rings. I'd be like, I would want to talk about Lord of the Rings with you. But wouldn't it be kind of shitty, let's say hypothetically, that you assume that I was making fun of you for some reason, and I go, you actually don't like Lord of the Rings, you're a girl, and you don't really understand the token, and can you name the fucking five of wizards right now? Can you, like, fucking name, like, what Gandalf went through when, when he was fighting the Balrog? Can you, can you, can you list me what Bilbo Baggins' family line is. Can you name? Can you name them? And like, wouldn't that be kind of shitty of that too? No, yeah, that definitely would be shitty. But I, I guess I'm just kind of explaining like why it happens in terms of like because because your story that, that you're selling me is that women were always part of these communities or not part of these communities but women were always as interested as men are but somehow there are no large female communities there's no representation of females <laughs> at tournaments there's no representation of females on ladders or in programming so, anywhere there's like very little representation of females in development or working on these actual things but somehow they were always like half the scene that just seems so incredibly hard to believe so this is like anecdotal again, like because well, no, no, like, well, half of like, what I said wasn't really anecdotal, like, like the, no, the I mean, like you're ahead. talking about professional gaming and large sports, but mm -hmm. like if we're gonna be like, there have been in my community and in my area that they've posted and a lot of like it been like. Do you know Top 10 arcade games, like the TV show that they had on Canada by any chance? Top 10 video arcade. No. 
No, okay, so it was a TV show that basically broadcasted a bunch of, like, kin- kids rep- like playing video games, and they would compete. And a lot of times, it would split 50-50 down the middle. Okay, I, I mean, I can't... So I can't right. speak that's, to the it, TV it, show, but exactly. I never I never remember walking into... I mean, I went to arcades when I was younger. I don't ever remember walking into arcades and seeing half the people but, in there was women. But I wouldn't see a white dude walking in my arcade playing DD Adar or Par Par or Tekken Street Fighter in there. It would be mostly Asian women and Asian men in that area, right? Sure. Like, that's, anecdot- that's anecdotal, isn't that? Yeah, selection the- bias. You could be. It's possible and, and, just the area that I grew up in didn't have these it, people. Or I didn't go to the red arcades. Sure, I fully admit that, yeah. And then let's talk about, like, your Hispanic identity thing. Um, most of the time, you're still going... Going through that experience you're just not being put up the front page and this is like if and you're saying wouldn't it be weird if someone like if i represented the people and started saying hey hold up you didn't go through the same experience as i did isn't that what i'm applying to a bunch of women are saying that although i do not represent the gaming community these are the experiences and you're going in like in the policy like 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 you're like saying like listen uh you're not you're not the person to talk about these things about your own experiences as women but it's like but you she still went through those things so she's still part of it no one's speaking over a video game like when women comment on representation and women comment about the sexes in video games these games are still being made no matter what like when you work like like here's a good example when you're working at uh, i'm not going to say the company because that's like nda violations and stuff you have to sometimes go like you 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 sit there on these meetings and you have to go i have to accept the things that are being made because it's like the person higher up me is going to say these things and but we're there still working on it and we don't agree with it and it's just that now they're vocal they're just considering it it doesn't mean like there's going to be less less like tits out there's not going to be less skimpier outfits it's just that depends on the game like especially in the indie gaming community yeah i mean i don't Wait, so what was the point of this? Just that a lot of games are still focused towards men, or...? Yeah, it's, a, it's not only that. It's just, like, you're saying you're saying with the Hispanic identity one, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm sorry that I went off ta- tangent again, mm-hmm. but you're saying, wouldn't it, like, you... It would be, like, the Hispanic community saying, like, you're not representing of us, and, like, I don't think you're the best person to speak on it. So we have women gamers talking about women experiences in video gaming, not for gaming in general, not for men in gaming, not for all gamers, just the women. And she was addressing only her experience. And you're saying, I don't think she has the right qualifications to say it, right? Or that this is a meme, this is like something that happens in the minority, or that there are well, actually like, been very few women who literally go through this. But then it's like shutting down the conversation of, hey, maybe like this is an experience that we go through. No, sure. So, so like, I, I guess like, um, in, in in drawing, I'm, maybe I didn't make it clear enough. So, like in, in my analogy for the Cuban thing, I don't think I am qualified to speak on that, and I would never try to, right? And I would never pretend that I could because I haven't had a Hispanic experience growing up. Because I present as white to everybody. Nobody in my entire life has ever looked down on me for being Hispanic or made an assumption about me for being Hispanic because I don't look Hispanic at all. So that that's why I was saying like I could never give a speech like that, right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying this is a woman mm-hmm. giving the experience of a woman gamer during that age, mm-hmm. not not a not 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 like this woman is saying this is the ultimate gaming experience. This is the gaming experience for most people. It was mm-hmm. simply that the women that play the game have to dealt with this, and then oh, yeah. of course that she is qualified to say these things about it, just as much as I'm qualified to talk about it. But I won't go on a play a, like a platform and say like I represent all video game players. I represent all women who play video games. Yeah, no, I I, I agree with that. I, I I don't think there's anything wrong with a woman giving her experiences and in, in dealing with whatever bullshit in gaming communities. I think that's perfectly fine. It, it, I was just speaking more to the general idea idea of present like if you want to talk about your own personal experiences and that's totally fine or your personal experience as a woman in gaming i'm just saying that this is why it seems strange or, or i was just speaking more to the idea that if you come and you start talking about stuff that it, it seems didn't happen is where the feelings of resentment so, come about. although i understand that you disagree that that there weren't a ton of women in gaming but that, that was the kind of the point i was coming from or why people feel so much resentment towards it but then isn't that like that's like whether or not like you grew up near women or played with women that are in video games because that like there's a very different experience right my husband for instance is going to say like all the women that he knew were playing video games compared to you women you didn't know and it's like 
uh, it becomes an anecdotal of whether or not I hung out in these groups. Like, there are probably people who are deep into fantasy lore aren't going to be crackling people who are, like, deep into, like, sci-fi lore. Like, like there's there's a disconnect, but I'm not going to disingenuize, say, these guys are more nerdy or these guys, these person uh, understand the nerd community better, et cetera, right? Because they're different factions, they hang out with different people, et cetera. Yeah, I mean, I I understand. I guess it's just thank you for for referring my husband as a fucking cuck. It's not making (laughs) no. Don't don't read the chat, dude, because now they're all gonna say it. (laughs) Yeah. Um. I I like. I I I guess so. Why? So you're saying that the reason why, if you look at across any game now that has a ladder, I like the ladders because they very easily let me look at a glance, like to see what's going on, like like concretely. Why are there no women anywhere on on any ladders for any game ever? When we're talking about ladder, we're talking about pro- professional gaming, or are we talking about where? Like uh, just ladders in general, not even necessarily pro gaming. Just la- when I say ladder, I just mean like the ladders, like like the like Diamond League or whatever, and League of Legends or whatever. So don't you play like with Lily Pichu? Yeah. And like, does she like? Isn't that kind of like right there? Or is she not counting? Or like, it's 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 more about like not professional gaming. It's about like gaming. And I believe that in like five years from now, or even if we tackle Blizzard tackles the sexual harassment policies and stuff a bit more seriously, I do believe that there will be more women in Overwatch for one, and then it'll it'll spread out. I mean, like, if we're gonna talk about it, like, it's not been like a whole century or even more than thirty years of like professional gaming like you admit that it's been a new thing to have like people paying you for twitch like to see you stream to see you play professional games like up to like what fifty thousand dollars to when you get in the competitive yeah but but i'm just saying that like why is it that if you look at all of the highest leagues if you look at like the top thousands on every ladder that's like asking me like why are all the like the the directors for like movies are predominantly men and only like we're seeing women like now mm-hmm. it's not like these women weren't directing there weren't female directors they weren't being highlighted but they, they weren't, weren't no being... but they weren't i would argue that they weren't that a lot of them were discouraged from going into that type of work and instead they went and they were doing other stuff instead well but it's only but been... there were but they were like it's not non-existent but they exist that's what yeah yeah the they point. existed but definitely not anywhere near parity and in incredibly marginalized numbers like but this is the thing you you claim that she was a the the main poster was a rarity and i'm saying 20 even if it was like 20 percent, not even like close to the ones that i'm providing you by the pew studies or any of the the digital interactive media studies or any of like people anecdotally 20 percent is not a rarity Twenty percent is a minority, but it's not a rarity. Sure. Can we agree 20, on that? Yeah, but even twenty percent in like the nineties for women playing games as much as men seems really, really, really hard for me to buy. But is it that because you didn't hang out with these women, or is it that because in the environment that you grew up in? Or if because I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, like to, like I said, I spent most anecdotal. of my. That's I, anecdotal. I mean, it, it it is, but like it's it's anecdotal everywhere <laughs> like in the tournaments that i went to i never saw any women uh, most of my friends growing up were women because i hung out with my wife a lot and she and all and she went to an all-girls high school so i hung out with a lot of there were usually it was me her and her four female friends and then anybody else that would show up to hang out with us like i, I just i never saw and, so, and this experience seems to be very very common like it would seem to me that like and again like oh my common fucking amongst, god common amongst, amongst men every single common... person that i've ever seen speak about this on the internet like i've never seen a guy pop up and be like oh whoa dude you're totally wrong when i grew up in our pokemon group you know like there were like at least like 30 or 40 percent of them so were that's women very like, different from the experience that i grew up with like i can literally go like because we're in the same age and like i assume you're uh, around 25 20 to 30 28 I'm, not 30 yet calm down there buddy <laughs> okay but sorry. okay yeah 28 yeah, but you understand what I'm saying is that it's like not too far off in the 40s and not too under within like under 20, right? I had we would have like female or like ha- like two dudes and five girls play, uh, but and then you would switch on and off because there wasn't enough like space and Wi-Fi and stuff. Smash Brother melee tournaments in our high school, we would have like. Like, when we wanted all to go gaming in a mass amount, we would get our initial D cards and go go racing, and we would wait for the guys to switch off, but it wasn't, like... And then you go to... When I went to high school, you went to, like, these certain video game groups, and there were actually a lot of women, and they made their own subsection. If you go to university, where it was, like, there was a high amount of women, then comparatively, I don't know if you had, like, depends on where you're 
play we had Pokemon groups, we had uh, Left for Dead nights where we would just play and it was just girls, right? Because mm-hmm. we didn't want to face that kind of harassment. And that's like anecdotal. And I don't like using anecdotes, but you're gonna use anecdotes, I might as well use anecdotes, sure. right? Because it's like depending on the perspective, depending on the people you hung out with, maybe it's a different vibe, maybe it's so, a different group. Do you think that if you were to do ballet as a guy or a girl, what do you think you'd be harassed more for doing it? Do you think women get harassed for doing ballet? No. Do you think men get harassed for doing ballet? By other men? Yes. Yeah. And maybe women? Yeah, I'm not yeah. going to disagree with Doesn't that. Doesn't it seem like that only occurs because it's a predominantly female like activity, whereas gaming was predominantly male? So, like, I, I don't understand how if half the... I, we kind of already talked about this. Like, if half the people playing games were if, women, how is if, it that women we, were always getting harassed? Go, if we're not even going to go by half, because I've already, like, conceded the point... Like, or, or, if, or 30 if or 40%, go, 30 or 40%, or 20% so even. Then, so then you're not, but then that's what I'm saying is that the poster made the point that they were being harassed or they don't want to talk about it. Mm-hmm. That's why they don't do it. Like that's, that's, it's not about, and then you're going to have a bunch of people and I'm not going to look at the chat, but it's hard not to. Um, <laughs> it's that they're like, they're like, why don't you have thicker skin then? Why don't you like, you know, that's part of the gaming community. Well, but that's, that's bullshit of- because most men don't have thick skin. So yeah, that, like that's why I say ignore the chat. People are fucking stupid as fuck. All right. <laughs> Like, I don't think, like, uh, like there are men who do ballet. They're, like, I'm not going to, are you going to, okay, so, mm-hmm. are we going to agree that there are men in ballet, but they're not the predominant majority of them? Sure. And could you admit that, like, in those, in that 20, let's say, let's say for the men who do ballet, and then I totally accept that, go ahead, go, go you, Billy Elliot and all that. Let's say in the 20%, 80% of them are being harassed by men or people that they know or even fellow people, like the majority of the women who are harassing them because they are the minority. And their experience with that is that they will say, talk about it and how they felt as men in ballet. Is that right? Is that correct? Okay. So that's kind of what I'm saying for the female, the, 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 the lady who posted that thing. She is not stating that, like, you know, all men harass her or all women are playing video games, but simply that they have existed and to say that they weren't pushed out or even, like, um, harassed over these issues to make them less vocal is honestly dishonest. No, and I, and I don't disagree with that. I'm just saying that the prerequisite conditions in order to harass women for playing games must have been that not many did it, that that's usually where that type of harassment comes from. But that's still, like, 20%. That's still, like, <sighs> a number that we can... Like, I can... Like, like we can... we Like, you can sigh all you want, but I have, like, the Pew Research oh, study. Okay, like, I, how about... How about we? I, I want to. I'm really curious because I'll, I'll. How about I dig through some of these? Because I'm curious what the questions asked were, and then um, and then we can like reconvene and and we can kind of talk about this because I'm really curious where some of these numbers come from or what the questions asked were. I, okay, so here. I'm familiar with um. Somebody was saying this up. I know that League releases a lot of information sometimes about their player base, and this has but this for is, the League again. This this uh-huh. is like professional. Would you agree that like no this no kind this... of like. This, this is isn't like, professional. This is with this is with all of their players, right? They've got seventy million summoner names registered and all that shit. And their stats say that ten percent of people that play league are women, as opposed so, to ninety percent being, being male. And that's today. So that still breaks your five percent rule, doesn't no, it? No, 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 no. I said five percent back in the nineties. I said today maybe it's up to like twenty or thirty percent. So 30%. then that's league. Then we're gonna go. Are we gonna assess, like? I'm pretty sure that the, I'm gonna not disagree with you that there were very like very little uh, women who like and even maybe dudes. I have to point out that did you. Like, like, were you a big soccer fan when you were a kid? No. Like, so, like, isn't that kind of my point? Is that like games have spread out and have made a distant like, a, like we're gonna point out League, but if I say like Pokemon, there might be a higher percentage. If I say like um, Dragon Age, Diablo. Uh, well, that's why. That's why I said. I, I guess I'll go through some of your stats, but I, I would believe that this, the, the, like the twenty percent figure that I'm citing for today, which might even be high, I would say that that probably spreads over StarCraft, Diablo. World of Warcraft, Warcraft, so every game single that you predominantly play. Well, this, this every, every single online game today that I can open like a ladder, any competitive online game today, that all of and them are going to be vastly male dominated. So, but but this this is what I'm stating is this is. <laughs> This is what I'm saying for the OP. She is simply stating video games. We're not narrowing down the video games that you predominantly like or I mm-hmm. predominantly like, right? I'm betting you there is a very small percentage of less than 5% of women who are into, like, hardcore, like, rape hentai. But I'm not going to say that all women don't like hentai or, like, uh, fucking anime, right? Because we have to look at the percentage of what we're comparing. If we're comparing video games from MORPGs, from uh, online gaming, from um, Professor Layton games, from, like, Ace Attorney from 
all these other vari- variating games, probably the ver- percentage of women are higher than if I say I narrowed it down to league, right? Well, yeah, but I- I'm not trying to narrow it down to just league. I'm saying every single popular online game right now. But that's your online gaming community. I'm going to talk about like games in general. That that usually defines like if you don't play. I'm sorry to say this, but mm-hmm. if you don't also play like let's say, um, <laughs> sorry. But when it comes to like games like uh, Professor Layton, uh, Phoenix Attorney Rights, uh, Persona games, the the Final Fantasy, the all the other other things that we can justify that people who play them are considered game, or are we considering online gaming? That's a different spectrum in tarot because that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about games in general. You're saying that in the 90s that like a lot of boys were already into like League. I agree with you. But I also think a lot of them were into mainstream games like Pokemon, Donkey Kong, Crash Bandicoot, uh, and and we proceed to like other things, right? Yeah, I guess. I, guess. I, ne- I think I need to look through your stats. What, whenever I bring up, so whenever I bring up the number of men that play online games today versus women, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because I think that most of the people in online games today came from gaming in the '90s, and that's why I'm saying that the fa- that I, I'm using the number of men popular today uh, in, in all of these online games as saying, well, look, you know, this is pre- pretty evident that in the '90s it was mainly men that were playing games offline. That, that, that's why I keep going back to the latter thing. But but you're saying that women just didn't migrate over to online play, but just as many were playing like the Pokemon's or the Phoenix Wright Attorney at Laws or, or even Zelda. Like all the girls, like I, this is anecdotal, and I don't like using it. <laughs> no, it's okay. I understand. It's all good. Because you're gonna use anecdotes, and I'm gonna use anecdotes, right? Mm-hmm. So when I played, um, when we were, like during high school, during university years, of you could play more than like several things like there were smash tournaments in my uh smash or like there's like tetra uh, and you're going to have a bunch of people coming but like tetris competi- competitions with the ds like mario kart all these other things that people played and drifted hardcore and like we're also having a woman like a lot of girls in my university played zelda all the way through from game color Game Boy Game Boys to now into Switch are come are we not going to consider them as gamers because we don't consider these games com- part of the online gaming community or etc. Right? Like we have to be specific. specific we have to yeah. specify. We have to specify when it comes to these kind of things. Like what are we? If you're going to go to your your perspective of just online games, I am going to concede and agree with you there that most of the online game community based on that. Yes, there are not a lot of women compared to the men. I'm not gonna like. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you with that. But it, when it comes to like games like outside of it, Nintendo, uh, Assassin's Creed, there's like a lot of people that I know. Assassin's Creed, Dragon Age, Mass Effect. Um, that's a different number. That's a different statistic any, anymore, right? P- possibly. Um, I, I. I. I'll look. I'll. I'll try to get like hard numbers on this. I'll look this up. If I can find like percentage of women that purchase Mass Effect. I mean, versus, like we like, already have people like in in like in general who are going to complain about like who is considered uh, more of like like you know basic console wars, PC versus console, and we have people who can't even agree on that, let alone what defines a gamer, right? You're going to have people who are going to be like, yeah. So, do you understand why people do this again, or? I understand that there's like a sense of like what what is considered that, but it doesn't mean it's right, or it doesn't necessarily mean it applies to everything, and it doesn't mean that it's based on anecdotal or the people you hung out with because of the social environment that you grew up in. And I think you can can agree with that. Yeah, I I, I guess are you, are you familiar with like the concept of like hazing or whatever, or kind of like rites of passage or whatever? Yeah, it's not like it's not a uniquely female thing, but to say that it doesn't like happen to a lot of women is also disingenuous. To say that what? Or no, I, I was I was just saying that that that's this is kind of where the feelings of resentment come from. Where if you feel like women have always ostracized you or made fun of you your entire life for being involved in video games, that to grow up and then be told that well, women were actually always part of these video games just the same as men are. That that, that that's but those kind of, are the but but that's like kind of like the weird idea that weren't men ostracizing you for that. It's just that the gay guys you the, the guys you hung out with didn't ostracize you. But yeah, to some extent. But even when men ostracized you for it, they were doing it using women. Why do you think like things like virgin were the most common insult thrown at gamer guys? You're a virgin because you play fucking video games. Although you're never going to get a girl. Like even the insults that other guys would throw at you were oftentimes you know centered around the fact that women wouldn't be attracted towards you if you played video games I'll, like i think that is very like 
wrong to do, and I agree that that is like, existed, but that doesn't take effect away that a lot of, like, I'm sorry to say this, but, like, that's become more of a standpoint on men abusing men over it than, like, uh, you couldn't get you couldn't get pussy and it's just like well what does this have to do with the girls playing video games and saying simply saying their experiences because I'm pretty sure the girls who played video games wouldn't be the ones calling you a virgin pussy for that and if they are they're terrible well they're yeah no of course people. I'm not I, but I'm just saying like these insults existed for a reason like n- like a, a gamer guy has never called like a like a like a star quarterback like oh dude like you're such a virgin no girl is gonna want to fuck around with you because all you do is but play I football or basketball again, like I, but then <laughs> But are we going to say the star quarterback is a gamer or he's just like he's not into video games? Therefore, like, shouldn't you be more upset at football players if they claim to be gamers than girls? Well, no, no, who no. no. I, I'm, games? Not, I'm not saying that anybody gets a pass here. Right. I would say that these guys are bad, too. I'm just saying that the reason why these there are reasons why these were the go to insults and why they worked. Right. Is because typically women didn't want to mess with guys that were playing games because it was seen as like. a. But a then that's like fine. Like there are plenty of guys who didn't want to like there are plenty of like let's say jocks or like guys who were into sports who didn't want to fuck with me because I was with like Lord of the Rings or I was weird because I liked playing like uh, like these kind of games it's it works vice versa and why are we predominantly going to like talk about the women that didn't like this is so that, when, but just is it really vice I feel like if you're a, a woman and you go out and you say that like you're into like Lord of the Rings or whatever I feel like that that, that alone could make you like very then, highly desirable to like a really large group you of would, people uh, when you're in like your late twenties and you kind of put on makeup and kind of look nice and presentable, yeah. But when you're in your like, let's say you're you're thir- <laughs> sorry to say this, but like nine to eighteen, you are made fun of by other girls as well. And it's not like I'm thinking, man, girls don't like video games and they don't understand me. It's more like these guys aren't part of the 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 norm that I'm in, and it's just like. It really sucks. It really sucks to have people. Uh, it didn't bother me because I'm ace, but like they'll be like, "You're never gonna get laid. You're always into this nerd kind of shit." Like I'm pretty sure a lot of men felt that way, but there are plenty of girls who also got told that they're not dateable because they don't dress themselves up, they don't buy shopping, they, etc. You know? Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll I'll look through I'll look through your studies and the numbers, and we can reconvene on this because I'm curious to see where these numbers came from. I'm, and then and then you're gonna have a bunch of guys saying, "Well, it's because you're ugly," and I can see in the chat. <laughs> no, and no, I'm like, dude, ignore the chat. I know, but like, like, let's be honest here. There are plenty of guys that are, get dates and girls who get dates or that are not exactly supermodels or very attractive, but they still do because of their personality. And like, not to lie, I was a chubby chaser for a while because they were just nice guys. But it doesn't change the fact that. You know, maybe find someone or look for someone outside of maybe their aesthetics or maybe just a vague, shallow understanding of who who they are, right? Sure. Like, as much as you're saying I'm ugly, I'm also married. I'm wondering how many of you guys are in the chat are technically married because, you know, we, we can't throw that card around because, you know, it doesn't matter if you're ha- as long as you're happy, what does it matter? Sure. Okay. Um, you have any final points or thoughts or anything that you want to share with us uh, um no, I, I i appreciate that you've taken the time to talk to me and i also think if you have anything else to address that you know you can address them i'm not coming from a hostile view because i can't i see your i see your uh, your your debates with like uh far right far left and it's not like you know you're coming out so hi are you leaving for the gym okay um and i feel like it's able to talk to you because you have a wide standpoint that you're not able to con- convince with like statistics but I also don't think like you hate women but I also think it's kind of like odd that like one girl bringing up her experience that you're saying it's a meme or this is like a talking point when really like there's been articles and like it's always existed about what girls have felt or dealt with and that's why there's like a lot of like female oriented websites for it and that's why certain like certain gamers or certain people are more popular than other sure i don't necessarily disagree with any of that i don't think i i just don't just the i was just saying where my point was always just that the, the revisionist it always felt a little revisionist to me in the history and which feels a little well, disingenuous. It's not, it's, she's not changing the fact that there are more men than women gamers it's just the fact that that there have been more than like five percent of women which is kind of 
low in my opinion of, of a population that they then play video games and we're gonna and and again you're already i've already addressed that i'm not talking about mobile games i'm not talking about casual games i'm not talking about which one guy was saying like in a nintendo game that you picked up or dropped because it just sounds like i've entered a best buy and i just tried out like whatever like fucking paper mario on the ds and go i'm a gamer now like these hypothetical straw man women you know yeah, I guess. I guess it's just when I read her tweets, they made it sound like there were always like tons and tons of women in gaming. Like, her, I think her tweet was like, "I doubt they mean harm, but some dudes always say back in my day we would kill for girls in gaming." And it's like, dude, girls were there. Girls were though. The first person I knew who played games was this girl on my block. She showed me her NES. Um, a girl I met with my mom went on a trip. I spent all of middle school with my main Nintendo 64 partner being female. It's nothing new. Like, I don't know. I just it sounded like. Well, girls have always there has always been like tons and tons of girls in gaming. Like for some reason they've just I been invisible she throughout. She, she, she it, it's not tons and tons it's just that there were a, a percentage of them that existed that it seemed like they were more upset that like they weren't getting laid by these girls than no no else. no 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 i don't think that's fair to say maybe now you could argue to some extent but well literally like if you look at some of the twitters that have mentioned about the name and the dating process like 99 percent of the women that i have dated have been confused yeah but about- i'm not talking about like the salty fucking neck beards now that are literally like <laughs> that are like 30s complaining about it i'm just saying that at the time like there was uh, i don't know i guess we've kind of but, like, all are- but but isn't that kind of like your your wife is into anime, right? And it could be argued that a lot of men you knew or high school that didn't weren't into anime didn't know anything about anime, but didn't stop you from dating or getting along with these people, right? Yeah, and but that's because I wasn't be like an a- antisocial fucking retard, whereas a lot of these guys are idiot. I'm sorry, I don't know what, but whereas a lot of these people are, so it's like a different kind of. <laughs> but yeah, um. Yeah, do you, uh, do you have any final, any other words or points you want to bring up before we... I, I, aside from, like, usually when you do your, like, last minute, like, five minute talking after, mm-hmm. like, when you, when you get the thing and you're like, like, holy shit, dude, I can't believe the fucking autism on this one. Aside from that, no, I think, like, I've addressed, like, everything on there. No, yeah, I, or, I mean, I, I, I don't, there's not much I have left to say, I usually do a little, but, I, so I guess, like, I guess just to summarize whatever, I won't do the, I won't do the five minute, oh my god, this fucking autistic bitch, I can't believe, it. I won't do that, okay? Um, no, I guess I just. No, you're the thing- free to do that. I'm just saying that I won't. I will kind of expect it. I won't kind of expect it. Damn, dude, do you think I'm? Do you think I roast the fuck out of everybody to talk to? Listen, I'm an no, incredibly. No, it, it it depends on who it is. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, sometimes you'll be like, remember that race realist that you had on, and then <laughs> reactionary you're, like, Catholic. You're, and like, I like I always use that that famous picture of you when you're like when you start like hearing them, and you're actually quite calm and you're like understanding. But then when you close it, you're like, holy shit, dude, what the fuck? And I'm gonna be showing on like thursday's highlight reel of like a little clip sound bite and you're like zoomed in and going <laughs> no don't worry you're i mean the, the, the i mean i i admit as much that that it seems like a lot of what i rely on is very anecdotal so i i do have to dig into your studies um and i don't like the anecdotal shit because you can spin anything for anything and i'm also cognizant of the fact that there are a lot of um I, I think the biggest point that you have on your side is selection bias, right? That like, well, you know, you said that you played games with lots of guys. Well, maybe that's because you only grew up near guys playing games. Maybe there were no girls, and maybe you didn't also, reach out to any. That's all, that's that entirely picking, possible, right? Is, is yeah. it fair to say? Like, I I assume that you didn't play Maple Story as a kid, or Gunbound, or like any of these games. Um, that these are I did play Gunbound actually. Okay, so then it could be, and I knew plenty of girls who had a gunbound community, and they just maybe didn't invite you or didn't want to talk to you, but you saw plenty of female avatars in you with, like, and I'm not talking, and you're going to be like, those are guys pretending as girls. Like, it's just like, they, they've they always existed. It's like, they, they're, they like, part of the worldwide, and to say 5% of, like, the gaming community is, like, were women in back in the 90s is also kind of like... No, like, sure, and I, and I understand how that feels. So I guess I'm just just be be cognizant of our feelings too. <laughs> it, it's just what? like when I look at like like if you talk to any guy on the internet, all of them, all of the guys, 99 percent of the guys, or 95 percent of the guys, since they were since the five percent of the guys with the five percent of the Where girls playing games, these <laughs> like everywhere on the internet. <laughs> And, like, every single person you talk to will have these exact same experiences that where every single guy will say, oh, yeah, like, you know, yeah, there were, like, there were really no but girls, like, playing. that be said for women who literally go through, like, it, like, I sometimes i am doing this thing where I record, like, the sexism that I get in video games because it's just, like, you're going to be like, that rarely ever, ever happens. 
it's you're just bringing it up. You're just trying to dramatize. dramatize no, 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 no. I would agree. My- but again, like this is you're just arguing in favor of my point. I do think that women get a disproportionate amount of sexist harassment online, and I know this happens for a fucking fact because I keep with a girl playing CS:GO for fucking a week, and every single fucking time she would turn her mic on, somebody would make a fucking stupid joke. I know what happens, but that's but I think that it's because the the majority of gamers have always been men by a really huge margin. So but anytime then, you see a girl, it's a I'm really not- rare thing, and it's like this just. But I think this just supports my argument, my anecdotal when, argument. When, when my ex didn't play any of these games, I didn't accuse all men of not knowing or whatever race he was, not knowing how to play video games, not knowing Batman. Not yeah, but, I, but that's because the stereotype, have, the stereotype doesn't exist that like men pretend to be interested in games for and, any and kind of credit. It, but then there it is, right? Because then it's like... Is it is it because it's a stereotype or that like well, women you... have to play games? But then I can claim that look, there are plenty of us that exist and want to talk to these people or just don't want to talk to you anymore because of how the stereotype is implied to us. I guess it sucks when you literally have people like um I I think you said you were a fan of her, <laughs> but when you literally have people like Anita Sarkeesian saying things like I grew up playing video games and I like video games and I'm going to do a series on video games. Okay, and then so... you've got recordings of her saying like I've never liked video games. I actually had to do a lot of research for this. I hate against going. I was like, fuck, dude. So like, Anita is not a good example because that means like everyone's like, okay, so here it is. So when you, I remember I brought this up to you when I first messaged you when you brought this up was that you were saying it is more valid for a uh, more valid for a gaming or gaming community to bring up these issues mm-hmm. than it is with like of someone like an outsider Anita. But guess what? No media is free from that. You have people who are not working, like plenty of people in this chat probably have comments about the new movies who are not working in the movie industry. Industry, who are not working in the animated in- industry, but it doesn't take away from critique. And there were plenty of dudes who were screaming at Roger Ebert for saying, <laughs> like, they're like, video games are like a, a type of art, they're a type of media. I but like, this. With, and and it's like, and I'm like, they're not saying that it's not impactful, emotional, or anything like uh, meaningful. It is the fact that it does not go through the institutional of art where you have to go through a critique of whether or not this is like avant-garde, if this is a, has a genre with itself that you don't necessarily have to play these games. Because there are plenty of people who did not consider... Um, Dear Esther as a video game. There are plenty of people who don't consider certain, like a uh, Kentucky Route Zero as a video no, game. And, like, and I understand that, but the difference is you're talking about normal people versus people that are literally like professional reviewers, right? So, like, let's but that say that doesn't take away, like, but it, if but it a does. Professional, like, it, okay, so, but that's like kind of saying like I have to be a professional everything in order to talk about this issue. And that, well, no, you no, know no, no, no. You need the background it. sufficiently to do like an official. Like, let's say that I wanted to give a review of um, like let's say that I wanted to do a, a, a semi serious review about some guy that plays saxophone, right? Like, I could give some level of input on it because I took studied woodwind performance in college i could give like some level of like serious input on it right now let's say that i wanted to give a review of, of, a, of a woman who's drawing uh, i guess like some a manga right she, she wants to get into drawing manga and i'm going through the pages and i'm like well this is just really boring and you know this just this is just boring like i think that this is bad and this drawing is just dumb or whatever and i don't think this works or whatever and then people are like dude like first your critiques are like what the fuck you have no idea what you're talking about you're not part of this community at all you don't know any of the critiques you're making like you everything is unfounded but like that, i think that's a legitimate that- criticism but that happens with any media, but it's, like, weird that gaming has to be so secluded and has to be, like, we can't only have the people within it to critique it. Does that mean I have a more validity of critiquing it just because I play certain video games? Yeah, or of is course. It someone- or, or like, then, if you, it sounds to me like you're probably more familiar with Game of Thrones and Tolkien shit. So, like, if we wanted to get into a big argument about, like, what the ending of, like, Lord of the Rings someone, means, and I've only seen the movies, and you've read all the, the Samarillion, like, three times or some shit, like, I'm not going to sit there and try to argue against you. Like, you have... Then, but then that's like that becomes a dick waving contest of who has more experience and everyone someone above you will always have more experience no, no, no. and more experience. It's not about having more experience, it's about having sufficient credentials. And to some extent, I mean you call it dick waving, but I think credentials are really important. If if somebody wanted to let's say that somebody wanted to do a big analysis between uh what's better, the Miyazaki studio or the what did you say, Shibley or whatever? <laughs> no, Miyazaki no, Miyaz- M- Miyazaki is Ghibli and is I was Ghibli. talking about and then there's Satoshi, which is Khan Studios that made perfect blue and 
etc. Okay, so Satoshi okay. versus Miyazaki or whatever, right? And I don't even and I and I wanted to do that, right? And I do like thirty minutes of research to give that, right? You're gonna attack my credentials if I try to give you some ultimate conclusion. You're gonna bring up something along the lines of the fact that I, until you told me five but seconds I'm ago, I didn't even take, know the difference. But for someone who loves freedom of speech, I'm not gonna take away the platform for you to talk about it. I'm not gonna dox you for it. I'm not gonna call no, you. No, I'm not like, defending the doxing. I'm I'm explaining the the. I'm I'm talking about people like me. I'm not trying to defend the doxing or any of that shit. That shit is fucking crazy, right? You know I don't approve of any of that. But I, but I do think that there are legitimate criticisms to be made at somebody that is totally outside of a community that, that has no experience in that community coming in and trying to drop some extreme criticism on that community when it seems like they haven't ever really been a part of it. They don't really have the sufficient cr- credentials or membership so, in that community to do so. If she's the most extreme, then I hope you never meet, like, on, like when you go to, like, academia because, like, she is actually quite mild in that those senses of, like, we're, we, like, we, we can, as, like, as the internet spreads and as uh, people are more able to be uh, able to communicate online, you can have plenty of people who have an academia uh, academia of like sexism, uh, uh, video games, and social media that you can literally dis- like disembowel anything. But just because you don't have a PhD in it doesn't mean you can't talk about it. And like, I'm not it's saying not- you have to have a PhD. You're strawman me a little bit, buddy. <laughs> But like you have, like don't you like? Let's be honest. You had video movie reviews of like you want to do reviews of Baby Driver. You have reviews of um, the Ghostbusters movie, and you had reviews of other things. And like, well, you like didn't I, I broke one. Yeah, but, I, I talk about them to some extent, but I always preface those with like, I'm not an official reviewer. My um, discog, my uh, filmography or whatever of what I've like watched is very, very, very shallow, so I can understand. And I'm always like, I ne- I would never like come in and like present. Like these are like this is absolutely what needed to change in this to be like I always get I always come at the point of view and if like if somebody approached me and and I'm always open to that if somebody approached me and they did have a really large background let's say that I let's say I didn't like Baby Driver that much and, and a huge Edgar Wright fan shows somebody's like Destiny you're wrong about this for like 52 different reasons and I'm like okay well let's hear it. like I would probably defer to that person's like knowledge on Edgar Wright over anything that I would say but that doesn't change from you to not like find the thing either offensive uh, uh, or dislike it for the plot reasons it doesn't change your persistence of feelings and it shouldn't change the, the fact that you should talk about these issues no no it As doesn't well, but and, anita and, doesn't and present want, her where's that going and, and i don't want to argue for anita because i'm just and i because I, I don't really necessarily agree with all her points but i can see some of validity of points and she always makes the point at the end that she is simply stating she doesn't think video like these video games should be stopped to be made that these video games aren't fun it's simply that the fact that these things have elements in it i think that should be clear right like if you if you like a certain thing there are plenty of um things that are like problematic that i enjoy but we can yeah and, that, and she says as much in every interview she says it's okay to appreciate something while being um simultaneously critical of its more uh dubious elements or whatever but it's still okay to like it as a whole i think she says that at like every single interview or whatever but isn't but then like you're gonna get like i, sh- I shouldn't look at the chat thank you for turning it off but um um uh you, actually you can do it but i it's kind of like it's it becomes like who gets to say what, what becomes gets to be said, and if no one like talks about these issues or like highlights them, then nothing's gonna change. That's that's all I can say about that when it comes to that. I do I think Anita's the best voice? No, but I do think she like she has just as much of a voice as anybody. Yes. Okay, and I guess I feel like somebody more like Hafu or somebody that's been involved in gaming for a long time, I feel like they're much more likely to have their voice heard or taken seriously just because they've been a part of the community for so long. But they're like people like Shara Gra- uh, Shara Grant or Rye, who's like worked on video games since like 1990s, have always been talking about it and like the and was the game industry's leading expert of computer games and dorms. But no one talks about her or is like interested in her is because you know maybe it's because like she hasn't been like knowing the social media and norms. But mm-hmm. she's been discorded like disregarded for Anita Sarkeesian. But it's not like there are people who are in special fields like. We have like people like Bill Nye, Neil deGrasse Tyson, who are highlighted all the times for like climate change, and it's not like there are no scientists to talk about it. It's just that they've been highlighted because they more more visible, right? But they have probably less credentials than certain climate time say, scientists. Yeah, I hate both of them. So, <laughs> but I understand what you're saying. Um, okay. <laughs> Too many final thoughts. <laughs> I think I think it's, I can't think of anything else. Your chat's very meme You should look at the Destiny GG one. Don't look at the main one, okay? Okay, Don't that's look at fine. Don't look at the Twitch one. Um, people are savages, dude. Thugs. <laughs> uh, also, I didn't agree with your cookie statement, so that's all I have to say to with that. With my cookie statement? 
your cookie video about the, 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 the comparative cookie. I'm sorry. Wait, what do you think is the best cookie? That's not the point. That's actually not the point. Like, you can't, like, that cookie is, like, no one can make it. Like, you can't have that as, like, a variable, right? Wait, it's, which, it's, wait, I'm sorry. Wait, what video are we talking about exactly? Are the we cookie, about- your, co- your cookie video where you claim that this is, like, the cookie that tops all cookies? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, what's your counter example? I'm just going to say, like, Thin Mints are best cookies. Ah, uh, you would. You just, like, you just invalidated every single thing you came on here to argue about by saying that. Fucking mint-flavored cookies? Do you use them to brush your teeth? What the fuck? Do you, do you not like mint flavored things? No, they're disgusting. Oh my god! I have, I have nothing to say to that. I'm sorry. The, like, mint isn't meant to be consumed. It's meant to be. You can brush your teeth with it, or maybe you, use it as like a do you breath not, mint. Like have any mojitos, or do you, like do nope. you not like have any? Okay. That's... Nope. Whatever you're about to say, if it's mint flavor, the answer is absolutely not. Why does Destiny hate mint so much? It's not that I hate mint. It's just that mint is just subjectively the worst flavoring of anything ever conceived by all of humankind. Oh, my God. You don't like that refreshing feeling that you, like, chew gum with mint or any of that? I don't eat food to feel refreshed. I drink water to feel refreshed. Checkmate. Is it raw water, or are you calling Gatorade and, like, fucking Powerade water (laughs) now? What does Gatorade have to do with this? No, I'm just going to say. You sound kind of jealous. Are you lactose intolerant? No. Oh, okay. But I don't like drinking milk. Or eating ice cream, I guess. I wouldn't if I well, ate mint-flavored I, shit. Ugh. Oh, wow, because it's not like there's such thing as mint-flavored ice cream. Or I anything. know, People... but, only, but that's, is that your favorite flavor of ice cream, too? Yes. Okay, well. Do you have any final, final I'm thoughts? Not, I'm not a fucking vegan. God. But anyways... <laughs> Okay, that's all I have to say. I think we mostly agree on some of the parts and disagree on the parts. Um, uh, predominantly, I think we agree on most <laughs> things, right? I, so, like, <laughs> I feel like we keep coming back. To, the, like, in terms of, like, actual effects of everything, right? And I've said this, and I'll say this a million times, because I know that everything I say always gets misquoted by fucking angry fucking virgins on the internet. I think that higher women representation in gaming, I think, is something that should be strived for. And I think that it should be pushed artificially to some extent, because I do think the representation right now really sucks. Like, these are things that I do feel very, very, very strongly about. I'm never going to sit here and argue that there should be less women in gaming or any of that shit, right? I'm only trying to provide an explanation for why some people feel a little bit burned about the way that it exists right now, or, 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 or the way that it's represented presented right now is all, is all I'm trying is seeking to do right okay. and, and yeah and we're yeah. just disagreeing over whether or not their experiences are objectively rooted in reality or just their subjective interpretation of growing up is essentially what we disagree with right okay yeah that's okay. fine okay wait um, final question do you like pineapple on pizza no uh yes I do I like I like Hawaiian pizza and you're gonna go like fuck you like this everything is invalidated because you like a fucking piece of shit fruit on your goddamn shitty ass pizza you fucking SJW feminazi Uh, shit it's okay don't worry buddy we can't all be perfect all right well thanks for the okay I was gonna say what do you like on your pizza just pepperoni no ah that's like the that's even worse than pineapple I like meats you... and vegetables, okay? If it's a wow, meat... Wow, that's very, that's very vague and very, I don't need like... to be more... If it's, if it's a type of meat, if it's sausage, bacon, chicken, so just, steak... So just fucking cheese pizza is any... what you're telling me. No, that's... any ki- it's got to have more than just cheese. A pizza's made up of its toppings, okay? Any kind of meat is good, and lots of vegetables are good. That's it, but not pineapple. I don't need a... a so some... you're telling me you're a fucking elitist that can afford more toppings on your fucking vegetable while the poor man's just, like, picking a couple of things? Yeah, I'm God no damn. fucking 1%, dude. I make a living playing video games. You better believe I get some dank ass fucking pizzas all the time dude i flaunt that and that white privilege too because i'm not hispanic when i go to the pizza shop hell yeah you better believe i get all those toppings oh wow okay well that says a lot about you does that trigger you are you feeling triggered right now oh wow i'm so triggered (laughs) look i'm just gonna post about how like my top video i I actually don't have any top videos that's like for you to do okay well good luck i'm sure to complain on your tumblr later okay (laughs) oh wow 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 all right thanks for the combo i'll look over those numbers and i'll get back to you okay uh, should I send you more of the the, the articles? Yeah, just, dude. Machine yeah. gun them at me, and I'll go through them. Okay. I feel like that just sounds make me f- like feels like an alt right person kind of be a race realist race and give real- you like no, a bunch. That's all good. Thing. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. I hope you have a good weekend. Yeah. Thanks a lot. You too, buddy. Okay. Bye. bye. Oh my God! This autistic fucking. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs>